Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. So my camera is working. I don't know if you guys saw my other video, but I was like the little circle because I couldn't get my camera to work. Well, all I needed to do was um, shut down my computer and reboot, but I had all my tabs pulled up. So you guys know I had several videos where I was not face, face and I apologize for that because I know it's not as personal. So anyway, I've got 29 bread and butter bolos for you guys. And if you're new to the channel, my bread and butter bolos are items that I sold for $35 or less. And I know I'm getting a little bit of feedback. So I apologize if it's um, fuzzy or um, if it's cutting out a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's my internet or if it's because I have so many tabs pulled up but I'm just gonna apologize in advance. And we're gonna get into these bolos. You won't notice it once I start screen sharing, which is gonna be any second here. So yeah, 29, um, $35 or less. Bread and butter items you can buy low and sell for a decent profit that are typically easier to find. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. All right, let's get started. All right. Okay, screen share is up. Uh, here's the first one. Okay, so this is just a precious moments ornament. I picked this up at a garage sale. It was 25 cents and I took a best offer on this one for $9. So um, the buyer did pay shipping on that, but 25 cents and a nine bucks, I'll take it all day long. The next item I sold is this cat's meow. And if you guys, um, I think I had a like garage sale haul video on this but I got like three huge boxes full and it ended up being about, um, I don't know, maybe 10 or 20 cents each. I can't remember what the exact um, breakdown was. Okay, I just wanted to confirm that that was up and going. Okay, so um, I did take a best offer of $10.50 for this and the buyer paid shipping. Um, the three boxes, I ended up paying like $30 for all of them. It was a, it was an amazing deal. Um, I just sold one, um, one of these little like house, uh, they're like made of wood. I don't know, a figure house. I don't know what it's not statue. I don't know what they're called. Anyway, I just sold one for like 30 bucks, which was super exciting. So, uh, they range from bread and butter to decent bolos, but, uh, definitely look them up. The Halloween ones do pretty well. Okay. This bubble cut, um, this is a clone, you guys. And it was just the head and it, let me see, it says Hong Kong right there. And I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. And I believe I picked this up with a bunch of like Barbies. So I didn't have much in this at all. The next item I sold, this actually took a while to sell. Um, I believe I paid $5 for it. I know it was from a garage sale. And I took a best offer of $32 and the buyer paid shipping. So it's a vintage ceramic black cat in a jack-o'-lantern and it's electric. You plug it in and you can see it works. Super, super cute. I'm surprised it didn't go for more, but um, yeah, it didn't sell as fast as I thought it would. The next item is this vintage Snow White Christmas tree ornament and it's a mini book. And I actually had two of these and I believe they've both sold, but I picked up a whole baggie of these. I want to say there was like eight or nine of them in the bag. So I have about a quarter in this and this sold for $13 and 60 cents and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this bobblehead. Um, I picked this up at a garage sale with gosh, tons and tons of items. So I probably have a dollar or less in it. This guy did take a while to sell but definitely look up bobbleheads. Some of them sell quickly and for good money. This guy sold for $18.70, buyer paid shipping, but he did take a while to sell. The next item I sold is this abalone shell wire wrapped bracelet. And this came out of my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay bulk buy, my 344 pound bulk buy. If you guys haven't heard that story, go search my YouTube channel. Um, I tell you all about it when I picked it up. When I weighed it, I had no idea how much it was gonna weigh. Um, I sold this bracelet for $21.25 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this menu and this was a trash pick. And when I say trash pick, it was um, at a neighbor's house and they were moving and it was sitting in a box on the side of the road. So um, I didn't actually 
dig into a trash can. So here it is. And I sold this for $19 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a vintage 1983 Mexican restaurant menu. Very cool. The next item I sold are these Yowie. I think it's how you say it. I could be totally saying that wrong. Figures and there's three of them. Somebody, um, uh, can't remember. Maybe this wasn't it. I was thinking somebody wanted to buy just one of them. And I was like, nope, not separating. But these sold for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Paw Patrol Tracker Jungle Rescue. This is Mandy the Monkey replacement toy. And I probably picked this up at a garage sale or maybe it was in a mystery box. I really cannot remember. I pick these things up all the time at um, thrift stores and bundles and garage sales. You know, I'm just like, how much for this box of toys? So he's been sitting around for a little while and I finally got around to listing him and he sold for $10.20, buyer paid shipping, and he sold pretty quick. The next item I sold is this Wrights. I think that I accidentally put an L instead of an I. Is that the brand? Yeah, I definitely did that. That's no good. Um, well, people must have just been looking for Disney blanket binding <laughs> because I totally mess that up. Okay. Um, I sold this for $12 and 75 cents. The buyer paid shipping. These are, um, Winnie the Pooh and one of them was opened. These came from a garage sale if I remember correctly. And I probably had like a dollar in both of them. The next item, um, I believe it's pronounced Cory critters. And this is the donkey. The donkey sells for a little more than some of the others, but I will say if I can get these for like a buck or less, I will pick them up at garage sales all day long. And I see them a lot. Like last summer, I found a bunch of these. Uh, the dogs, I picked up some dogs and like a little girl holding a dog and you'll see them in my videos. They sell pretty good. Um, a few of them are still sitting, but this one sold for $28. I paid a dollar for it and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Aladdin and Jasmine uh, Disney dolls. These came in a bulk um, Barbie buy that I got, and I sold these for $17 in the buyer paid shipping. Okay, so this ragtime keychain, this was a long, long, long tail item. I picked this up, I don't know if you guys, if you've been around the channel for a while, I went to an estate sale and in the drawer in a bedroom, was a whole bunch of musical Broadway items. And I just filled the bag and I got a, a superb deal. And this was one of the items that was in there. And I sold this for $21.25 and the buyer paid shipping. So definitely worth the wait. I mean, it takes up no room and I had practically nothing in it. The next item, I always pick these up if I see them, are these little plastic deer, the Christmas deer. And I took a best offer of $10 on this one. You know, um, the condition was just kind of okay. I can't remember where I got this one. I don't know if it was in a mystery box or if I picked it up at a garage sale. But I took a best offer of $10. I probably had I something like this I would probably pay $0.50 cents for. Um, maybe a dollar, but I'm guessing not. <laughs> the next item I sold is this 2017 Hallmark Keepsake Barbie. And she came in the box, but the box was damaged. And I went ahead and took a best offer of $10 on this. And this came from a bulk buy at a garage sale. I just bought a ton of stuff. So probably a dollar or less in this. The next item I sold are these Minions Movie Plush. It's a lot of two. Took a best offer of $15. The buyer paid shipping. And I believe I paid 50 cents each for these at a garage sale. The next item I picked up at a garage sale, I want to say... It was a couple dollars because I was surprised at how cheap it was because it was brand new, super cute, sold pretty fast, and I sold it for $29.75 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I had never seen one of these before. I picked this up at a garage sale for 50 cents. It's like a little Yorkie dog and I just thought it was interesting. So I grabbed it and I sold this for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I picked up at an estate garage sale it was kind of like an estate sale slash garage sale. And um, I, I bought some others with this. So it was kind of like a lot, but they were different themes. 
and the other one sold quicker and for more money. But these, I just went ahead and listed them. I was like, I'll try it. And so I probably have about a dollar in them. And I sold them for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. And you can see it says made in Italy. They're like small plaques for those of you that are just listening. They've got like, it looks like fruit on them. I don't even, I'm not even sure what, yeah, it's like fruit and I, I don't know. But somebody bought them. <laughs> the next item, okay, so I don't know if you guys remember this from my, um, I bought a $25 box from uh, Donatella Bodolino's auction. And this is back when she had kind of first started out. So, you know, nobody bid against me, but it was a huge box of what she now calls a dibble box. It was just a bunch of miscellaneous things. And there were a few things in there and I'm like, I know that's a bolo. I know that's a bolo. Like, I know I can sell these things. So I bid $25. You guys, $25 free shipping. Go watch the video. You'll have to look it up because it, it's it's an older video. But I paid $25 for the whole box, free shipping. And I have made so much money on that box. Now, this was a long tail item. I, I was, I'm like, what is this like wood spoon with holes in it? So I called it a wood skimmer ladle. And it's rare because I couldn't find any others like it. And I ended up selling this for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. So I made my money back plus some on this one item. And you should see all the great stuff I got in this box. Definitely go check it out. Um, if you search my um, YouTube channel, put in Donatella Bodolino. Um, I'm trying to think what the title was, but if you put that in, it should pull it up. But it's a great, it, it's great. You should go see what I got. It's crazy. The next item I picked up at a garage sale for $1. And this is the Nubby Safari Friends Baby Teether. And it's new. And how cute is that? Um, I did scan this because I had a barcode at the garage sale. And I'm like, yes, I'll give you a dollar for that. I sold this for $17 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these lot of five Leapster learning games. I picked up a whole tote of LeapFrog items. And um, they've been selling like crazy. And a lot of them sold during quarantine. But um, they're still selling. And I sold these for $15.30 and the buyer paid shipping. And I probably had less than a dollar in these. The next item. Okay, so I sold this one. And I believe is this one let me get you a measurement this is the smaller one okay so i sold this one and it didn't have a brand or anything this one was the cheaper one and this one is an upco and this is what it looks like on the back it's got the two circles and i've done really well with these ceramic pumpkins like i think you put a candle underneath them i don't know but i got these in mystery boxes and They've done really well. So I will look for these from now on. But I sold both of these for a total of $45.05 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this American Girl hoodie outfit. And I sold this for $12.75 and the buyer paid shipping. I picked this up an American Girl lot of clothes. And so I probably had like a buck in it. This is an American Girl belt. And I had no idea that this was Nikki's belt, but I put some pictures on a Facebook group, um, an American Girl Facebook group, and it's like they help you identify stuff. It's really fantastic. Like you put the pictures down and they'll be like, oh, that's Nikki's belt. So I knew how to list it and I sold this for $7 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item sold super fast. This came out of a mystery box. And it's a Halloween planter. It's Holland ceramic and it's um, like a pumpkin with a face. And it's from 1987 and it's super, super cute. And it sold for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. You can see right here. So I think it's from like um, a floral place. You know, they gave it like delivered flowers in it maybe. I don't know. But yeah, 30 bucks, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Jurassic World action figure. And it's it chomps and it's got the uh, battle wound on the side that opens and shuts. You can see it's shut there. It's open there. Kind of cool. Sold for $23.80 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, guys. 
There are your 29 bread and butter bolos. And I'm going to go do another bread and butter video because I've got lots of bread and butter. And I've got some big money bolos coming soon also. Thanks for watching. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you at the next video. And if you made it this far, comment, I made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching.